a spring and a miss. So my gut s tells me that it's gonna have to be a weight thing. Basically a spring based weight thing where C will weigh this down. And then what's gonna happen is because when C weighs it down, it's not gonna be able to go back up. So D will also go down. All right, so let's compress this. A lot, maybe not that much. So this should just drive over. And then this should drive over and this should be coming down and maybe I'll, I don't know, get it to fall the other way and not come back up. Oh, you know what? It's gonna break by design. I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. That is how I decided it's gonna go. I right, just wait down, snaps, and not the best landing. Let's try to do something about this landing. Almost perfect. Well, it works if we jump the gap. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's just let it jump the gap. I'm not gonna think about this too much. We're just gonna have our jank solution and then eventually we'll come back to it and we'll have an actual good solution. Okay, this time the cars will... Yeah, they actually make it on. Barely. Hey, buddy, you wanna go down? Yeah, you do. That's right. There we go. We broke the spring all according to plan. Alright, round two. I think I still need to adjust these roads. Ah, but we've done it. <laughs> With only a breaking spring, we got there. See? Uh, four digits. Only two people got it. I'm surprised. I thought way more people got uh, four digits. Next. In suspense. Giant suspension bridge. I'm sure there's a way to do this without doing a suspension bridge, but let's do the suspension bridge. I don't know shit about suspension bridges, and I'm not gonna look them up, so I'm gonna reinvent the wheel when it comes to this. So we're gonna do this shit with triangles, and then we're gonna do some suspension up top. Only 60% stress, I'm surprised. All right, what if I do some sort of tension here? Does this work? Yes! Okay, that's really good, actually. What if I have this go to the road? Oh, wait, that's way better. 34%. <laughs> wait, this level's easy! All we have to do is shave six and a half thousand! Wow! Okay. Yeah, we're very close now. It's almost over. This is like the easiest level in the entire uh, world. What about the cables themselves? Can any of them just become rope? I think the long ones can. Yep, oh, you're kidding me. It made it to the halfway point. One cable, one rope. Hooray for asymmetry. <laughs> All right, that was insanely easy. Impressively easy. Okay, hold on. Can I get rid of some more cables in my design? So let's let's just get rid of a couple of cables, add some ropes, and so I can claim my rightful place on the leaderboard. Well, no. No. Apparently that breaks, I guess. If I attach this to the top. Well, now I gotta probably make it symmetrical. Ah, okay. Sure. Alright, let's just get rid of a couple more cables. All right, I'm almost done with this. It's not often that we'll see an easy level in the fifth world. I gotta milk this while I can. I just want to get below 100,000. For once in this damn world. Thank you. Five figures. It's not often I have a bridge that costs that much. 
Top 50, even. Let's carry on. 515, a double duty. I think I'm gonna move on. This one's close. I bet I could come back to this and nail it later, but I'm just not getting anything. So let's move on. Leverage. Ugh. All right, let's deal with this one. All right, so we got 100K to make a hydraulicless bridge. Well, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna do a basic road here, and I'm gonna do the majority of a bridge here, except for two roads. So, what if actually the vehicle, the car itself pushes the roads into place? Say so we just have a really strong support going to here. And we just have the final two roads, like this. And all we'll do is, we'll have a little spring thing like this. What I want for, is for the length from here to here to be the same as the length from here to here. About that. So it's just gotta push it. Oh. Wait, it's still moving. Oh, please push it over. No, it actually stopped. <laughs> it can't go any further now. I want to slope this a bit so it's pushing more into it. Ah, but then it's going uphill, so there's no way that's going to work. No, that's the opposite of what I want. Maybe I want it to go up then. Well, here we go again. It's moving now, and we got a little bit of downhillness on our side. Oh, that was so close. Almost. Let's make this a bit more steep. Oh, it's still moving. Shit. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's not bad. It pushed it over. Let's just try to strengthen this now. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> Easy. What a catch. Actually perfect. Wow, that was nice. I've definitely had practice with this. Definitely have had practice with it. And I also feel like the 100k was way too much because I overbuilt the shit out of this. Well, now it's time to go for the levels I've been avoiding. I've avoided a few of them. There's five of them. The first three and then 10 and 15. Well, here we go. Falling into place, I spent a lot of time on this and I tried to do some sort of counterweight thing. I'm gonna try to do a different type of falling road. So there was some weird little uh, thing like this and then I need catching road like this. All right, uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit off. So in the beginning, there's this and then there's that. Okay, good start. Closer. Perfect. So that drops off, and now you make it. I don't know if it's gonna make this jump, especially with this uh, swinging road here. Also, I don't even know if it's gonna get off this. Well, maybe. Nah, it does get stuck. It actually gets stuck on the top, it looks like. So let me do this slightly differently. Have this stay attached and have this detached in the beginning. Yeah, this might be better, I think. I actually don't think this will work, by the way. I'm gonna have to redo this part. Yeah, it's stuck. Well, let me first try lowering this and then I'll just replace it with something else. Nice, there we go. At least we got it without breaking as well, so I don't have to do this. Let's go to the next one. Truck way in. Normal bridge, we even have hydraulics. So this is gonna be difficult in that the C parts are gonna be pretty easy. You can just build something like this, it's fine for the C. Uh, but what I'm worried about is the A. Because it goes at the same time as these vehicles, so what needs to happen? Some sort of a uh, thing like this? 
that happens to not hit the boat. So it's something more like this. And then we do actually get a hydraulic phase. So we're gonna use a little combination of rock supports and a hydraulic to pull this thing up. And then we just have to support both these heavy vehicles. So this is gonna be our main support, this little island here on the rock. And then everything that's denoted by um, these triangles is gonna be lifted up. And then likewise with the other ramp, also gonna be lifted up. I guess I could just push it up. All right, this is a better angle. Just let me get rid of some of these because these are terrible supports. All right, let's see if this holds. Moment of truth. Eh, this almost gets up. It's very close, actually. All right, let me just ignore the hydraulic right now. Okay, at least this a normal thing is breaking now. Hallelujah. The supports are finally the ones that are breaking, not the roads. Okay, the roads are a lot better now. Um, we're gonna ignore this right now. This doesn't work yet. Oh, I'm even gonna make this just a regular, regular joint. We're just gonna focus on this rightmost thing first. At least it holds up for once. Now let's see if I can get this hydraulic to work. Okay, it works. All right, let's just make it shorter now. All right, maybe I should just contract less. I think I'm actually spending more money. Yeah, I am spending more money. Let's just have it expand less. Okay, we're getting closer now. So the reason why I'm moving this point is maybe I could try to get this to connect. Actually, there's no way this works if this doesn't connect. So I'm trying to lower it so that the length can be appropriate so it connects here, but that tears apart the goddamn road. Yay! Okay, this might still break, but at least we got it to connect. Well, good news is it doesn't break. In fact, that holds up pretty decently, if you ask me. It's not perfect. It's by no means perfect, but it's pretty good. Wait, I just realized I could pull this down. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I saw this after coming back. I could just pull this bridge down. I was thinking about pushing this bridge up, but I don't have to do that. I can just pull this down. This is significantly easier. I would like this to connect to the red joint down here. So that's gonna take a little bit of tweaking. Oh God. Yeah, it's gonna take some tweaking. It's not gonna get it right now, but it's kind of close. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna connect the hydraulic to the road at this point. Okay, so it's a little long and we'll move this in and it's actually contracting too much. Closer, a little bit less, 43%. I think it can go into just a tiny amount. All right, but this does make it up. We just got to make this not break now. I think I'll just go ahead and patch this and then this. I think I'll even go ahead and fix these as well. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need to get all these. It's fine though. All right, much easier win. Glad we came back to this. It's nice when I come back to things with a fresh perspective. We made some good progress. We have three levels to go and then a few to make non-breaking. Hopefully it should be two more streams, then we can unlock the challenge levels. And then I'll hit up this one as well.